In the past, support to migrants tended to focus on economic factors. Today, we recognize that the mental health of migrants is as important to their well-being and reintegration as their financial situation, and that actually both are linked. Nobody is ashamed of catching a cold. In the same way, nobody should be ashamed to be a COVID-19 survivor or to seek psychological support. I want Ghana, with the support of the German cooperation agency GIZ, raises awareness that mental health issues can be overcome and explains to partners in the field how they can serve as a support structure to those affected. Psychological first aid can be done by all of us and is a first-line, humane, supportive and practical assistance aimed at helping those in vulnerable situations or crises. Psychological first aid is not something only professionals can do. It is not professional counseling. It is not psychological debriefing. And again, it is not asking people to analyze what happened or put the events in order. Although psychological first aid involves being available to listen to people's stories, it is not pressuring people to tell you their feelings or reactions to the, an event. People do better over the long term if they feel safe, connected to others, calm and hopeful. They also feel better if they have access to social, physical and emotional support. And again, they feel better if they regain a sense of control by being able to help themselves. Migrants who travel may have experienced traumatic events and they can benefit from psychological first aid. It can be provided both adults and children. But remember, it is not everyone who experiences a crisis who will need psychological first aid. Don't force help on those who don't want it, but make yourself available and easily accessible to those who may want support. Some people will need more support than others. For example, people with underlying mental health conditions who have experienced a crisis situation, the aged, children, people with disability, and people who have been victims of trafficking or who have been traumatized. These are people we have to look out for during crisis period. Make sure that severely distressed people are not left alone and try to keep them safe until the reaction passes or until you can find help from health professionals, local leaders or community members in the area. Psychological first aid is easy and can be done by anybody. However, there are some principles to follow. One, look. It is important to look for safety and observe people with basic urgent needs. Observe people with serious distress reactions. So people who may be manifesting psychological distress reactions, such as palpitations, some who will be emotionally disturbed, look out for these people and then help them. Two, listen. Make contact with people who may need support asking the right questions and also engaging in active listening. Ask about people's needs and concerns at this time and not about how they are feeling. Listen to people and help them feel calm. Try to be non-judgmental. Three, link. Help people address basic needs and assess service. Try to give information if you have and connect people with loved ones and their social support system. In providing psychological first aid, there may be a need to refer. You may not be a mental health professional. Here are some of the services available. You can refer distressed people to see psychiatrists, clinical psychologists, certified counselors, community psychiatric nurses in units of hospitals, psych ops who are psychology graduates in the hospitals who do their national service and also network in communities and see who is available. In providing psychological first aid, remember to respect people's rights, their dignity and safety. Treat all people with respect and make sure people can access help fully and without discrimination. Remember, migrants are part of us and they will be with us. Together, we are stranding. Let us help break the cycle of stigmatization against migrants.